Right, good afternoon then everyone as we are at the beginning of another week on Monday the 20th of May. Uh, let's have a flick across the calendar and see what is on the agenda over the course of this week. A um, few inflation prints for us to go off. Apart from that, not really uh, really too much. I mean, I suppose I say not too much. We do have a bunch of PMIs as well out, but nothing, none of the major, major things out of the uh, out of the US anyway. Obviously, you Inflation when it comes to Canada, inflation when it comes to the UK, inflation when it comes to Japan, which doesn't really make too much of a difference. No, I wouldn't say, wouldn't say too much. Um, and then, as I said, yeah, a bunch of bunch of PMIs, but nothing really on the agenda this week. Inflation tomorrow from Canada might be something to uh, to look at as to whether the prospect of interest rate cuts gets brought forward or not. I think you'll probably be looking for some weakening inflation. That will be a number of then consecutive months with inflation back under three percent. You can see in January, February, and March all the three. Uh, every month this year, inflation has been back within their kind of one to three percent target range for, uh, for for inflation. In order for them to be confident to cut rates, they will want that to continue. It is expected to continue. Anything below consensus, you know, kind of kind of what you would suggest for 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 a trade on the on the Canadian dollar. Or on the flip side, if it comes in and beats consensus, maybe gets back up towards three percent. As a situation where they 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 may prolong the cut for another month, which means you should get some strength off the Canadian dollar. So I do think it's a tradable release tomorrow. Absolutely, I think you know you can sit here and make predictions all you want, but ultimately you got to wait for the wait for the figure to come out. And I do think there's a trade in in both both directions. Anything below consensus will bring forward the prospect of interest rate cuts. Anything above consensus, so above 2.7, is likely to push it back for another month. So. <clears throat> Let's see how that pans out, but as I said, probably a tradable opportunity off the back of that. Um, inflation in the UK expected to kind of fall off a cliff, really, 3.2% previous into 2.1 consensus, and something back 2.1 consensus is a situation where the, where the Bank of England can go and cut interest rates. So um, inflation will fall over the course of this week. How much it falls, boy, is the uh, is the question. Still slightly undecided as to when we get a cut, potentially June from the Bank of England. So not too far away. Um, something in line with consensus is 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 obviously a situation where they can go and cut interest rates. Miss consensus, they can miss a consensus back below two percent. It'd be a good trade to short short some sterling and 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 you know bring forward the prospect of a uh, the prospect of cuts. Uh, then into PMIs. If I just go back to these medium uh, medium impact data releases, you have got. Um, out over the course of Thursday, um, you can see raft of PMIs all the way across the board. Now, economic data throughout the month of, um, or throughout the the last last month or two, um, throughout the last month or two has kind of has kind of taken a bit of a bit of a turn from the uh, from the US. So these imp uh, these these PMIs are, are important then when it comes to the US. I know it's only medium impact data, but um, a lot of uh, a lot of data prints over the last month have missed consensus um, and and come in lower than anticipated. So it's, it'll be interesting to see if that if that trend does go and continue on Thursday. But we will cross that bridge when it comes to it on Thursday in uh, in future videos uh, a little bit later on down the line. A bit of broad-based US dollar strength, though, just coming in in the last hour or two. Fed's Bostich kind of reiterating the stance that they still have work to do on inflation. Inflation is not coming down the way they would have hoped. And you know, there still is a need for, for interest rates to be higher for longer than markets had initially had initially anticipated. So um, does that really change too much of a picture when it comes to the US dollar? I'm not so sure. Economic data has been weakening. Is is selling the dollar still the way to go? Let's see, let's see how the markets uh, markets react kind of over the course of today and into tomorrow. But it may end up a little bit choppy come to, through the rest of the day. But um, some interesting levels. Prices approaching Aussie, you know, back to this support level uh, that rejected kind of uh, on Friday and then pushed higher. It's coming back to it today. The, the issue issue with it though is though it kind of failed to make a new higher high as you can see here. But um, you know, euro dollar have a bit of a pullback as well. You have the dollar index back at a resistance level, um, going back a going back a while. Dollar Swiss through the highs up through here. Dollar CADs at a decent level. Um, cable has had a pretty pretty good run. There's not much really around in terms of support and resistance. Maybe 2650 something to keep an eye on. On that, you see equity markets pretty dull in today's uh, pretty dull in today's session. Not too much for us to uh, not too much for us to see here. Um, when it comes to equities to uh, to begin the week, I still got to imagine the 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 bias is pointed pointed higher on equities. 
yeah, let's see how the US opens up in about 40 minutes time. But I still think buying dips on equities is the way to go over the course of this week after last week's inflation print. Uh, yields pushing higher, liking those comments from, from Bostich. I mean, I'm going to presume it's, presume it's that, but... Um, yeah, I think it's something to keep an eye on yields over the course of this week. If they push higher, it should be should be supportive for the US dollar and technically probably should be negative for, for stock indexes. But stock index is not selling off at this point in time. And I do think you gotta continue to uh, continue to buy dips. Gold having a bad time of it at the moment. Obviously not liking those those comments too much. You know, over the course of today you can see down a percent and a half. So um from the highs anyway since seven o'clock this morning did rally a bit overnight and kind of flat on the day, but uh, down a good forty forty bucks an ounce over the course of this morning so far. So um what to expect going forward this week. I think, the dollar, the dollar has been weak over the last while. I think the dollar's maybe a little bit tricky one to to predict. I think you know fundamentally, I think it is still bullish on on the U.S. dollar, but economic data over the last few weeks has taken a bit of a turn for the worst. So maybe that's a little bit of a difficult trade until we get some more data out throughout the course of this week. Uh, equity marks, I still think I'll buy on dips. That uh, may be the trade for uh, for now. Oil's a bit all all over the place. You are some pretty good technical levels when it comes to uh, comes to oil. You know, uh, managing to keep below eighty, but again, yeah, that's just been choppy over the last couple of weeks. So good luck with that. Uh, good luck with that one. Gold, you know, flushing out some some longs. I think I still do think gold heads lower. When it heads lower, though, is another is another question. I'm not sure you really want to go and go and jump in front of that. Really, to be perfectly honest. Um, but yeah, that's kind of thoughts throughout the week. Obviously, things can change. Got to be nimble. Got to kind of reevaluate things as you go on through the week. But that's how I think at the moment. I will be sure to update a little bit further throughout the rest of the week. But best of luck out there. Oh, maybe we can all make some cash this week. Another good, uh, another good, another good week.